without a doubt, we live in difficult times. And it's in times like this that we need inspiration. We need God to speak to us and reaffirm the purpose of life, humanity, the purpose of our very life. Why are we alive now and why should we get out of bed today? And the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes, written by King Solomon, the preacher, the son of David, gives us the meaning of life. Let's delve into it together. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 through 5 has a shift. We've got uh, four viewpoints of life up, within, ahead, and around. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 is an upward viewpoint of life. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 says this in the New American Standard. There is an appointed time for everything, and there is a time for every event under heaven, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to shun embracing, a time to search and a time to give up as lost. A time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear down and a time to sew together, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8, a poem of time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 is about time. It's been called a poem of time. We, we spend our entire lives living by the clock and yet we never stop to ask what, what is time? I mean, is time a monster chasing us from the cradle to the grave? Is time real? Is time authentic? Is it an equilibrium? We just live our linear existence in time without pausing to think about what time means. The preacher, King Solomon, in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, considers this for us. While time is monotonous, and time is definitely cyclical, with nothing changing, right? That's a, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 4 through 11. The poem of time, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, shows time as balanced and providing a rhythm of life as, quote, an appointed time for everything, unquote, and, quote, a time for every event under heaven, unquote, chapter 3, verse 1. Our time is a seesaw. The preacher uses time, the Hebrew word het, as referring to a predetermined or appointed time, het. The idea behind the 14 contrasted pairs is that the divine has a plan that embraces all humans and all their actions at all times. Even when observation appears to reveal randomness, God's activity in time and space, it's not arbitrary or haphazard or random, but with Closer inspection reveals that there is, in fact, a divine order within the apparent chaos of life under the sun. God 
is involved with every movement of the seesaw. He's in control and we are never abandoned or left flung into chaos. Never. Time may be cyclical, but it's also balanced with God providing order. Whether we find ourselves in light, joy, and bliss, or in darkness, sorrow, and depression, God's predetermined and appointed time involves both positive and negative and everything in between. Therefore, therefore, we must embrace it all and witness God's hand in all time. This is the reason why Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, is so often read at funerals. Regardless of the chaos or pain, God is there in the midst. Regardless of the order or rejoicing, God is there in the midst. Time is about God's activity. This topic is incredibly important and, and we need time to think about the purpose of our individual lives. Why do I exist and how can I make the most of the time that God has given me? If you're interested in delving into Ecclesiastes um, deeper, then I wrote a book in 2018. It's 50 pages. It's $1.98 on Amazon. It's for a Kindle, an e-reader, and it's called Search for Significance, an Examination of Ecclesiastes. And I will put the link to this book on Amazon in the description below as an additional resource for you if you wish.